Right, so hi, my name is Nils, and I'm here to tell you a bit about Train Tracks, our real time behavioral analytics tool for mobile games. But before I get started, I'd like to make a controversial claim. Namely, there is no such thing as data driven design today. Let me explain. So, to give you guys a bit of a background, I'd like to start off by telling you about our company, Mention. So for the last couple of years, we have been trying to merge the fields of behavioral psychology, game theory, and memetics to create a better predictive model of human behavior. And that has allowed us to work with some really interesting companies like Sina and do amazing research and work with game developers. And I think that's where we really found our calling, decoding the game. You see, there's something really human about how we play games, and we wanted to study that, but we kept running into a wall. There's something wrong with analytics today. We needed a new kind of tool, and it turned out that our clients would be happy to have it too. So, what's wrong with analytics? Well, three things. First of all, people don't know what they're doing. It's difficult to know which questions to ask, and if you're not asking the right questions, you're never going to get the right answers. Second, companies only track what is easy to track because it is difficult to interrogate the data. The result is a focus on vanity metrics that tell you very little about player behavior. So these kinds of tools can tell you about your funnel, but not why your game is fun. And finally, there's an issue of cost. It is expensive to ask questions about behavior. Several departments need to collaborate to answer a question, and a single question can take hours or days to answer. The cost per question today can exceed thousands of dollars. And all this brings me back to my original claim. Remember, there is no such thing as data-driven design today. Now, I know that sounds crazy because a lot of people talk about data-driven design, but if you actually look at the workflow of this data-driven design, you find that there are way too many steps between someone asking a question and actually gaining insight. So there's no such thing as data-driven design today because the designer is treated like a second-class citizen. The knowledge, technology, and cost barriers effectively prevent the game designers from utilizing the data in their workflow. The problem is, working with data today is incredibly difficult. It takes several experts with their own special skills to even get started asking questions about behavior. So, what's our model? Well, we're proposing that the game designer gets to swim in the data using train tracks, discover patterns on his own, generate hypotheses that he can then try out in train tracks without ever having to interface with the analytics department. And I'd like to give you a quick demo of that. I hope we have the sound on. So this is an early alpha. And for this demo, we wanted to try to answer four questions. Who played during a specific period? Who spent the most time? Who was the most active? And what did our top customer actually do. So let's see how our alpha does answering those questions. When we log into train tracks, we're taken to a global report that gives us a quick overview of who's who for a specific time period. I can easily change the time period to any particular selection I want, but for now, I'm happy looking at what happened last week. Now, I can easily find out who spent the most time and who was the most active. Turns out that the player Slicey bought the most items. And if we drill into his player log, we can get a quick overview of what he was up to during that time. You'll notice that the player log is displayed in plain English, allowing the game designer to really understand the play-by-play. -play. So, what did Slicey buy? Well, the first thing he bought was the rusty shotgun, after about 7 minutes. Now, I'm interested in finding out if he actually used it, so I expand my search to include all events that are tagged with combat. I now see that Slicey used the shotgun as soon as he bought it, but then even though he won, he decided to play another practice round, and although he went back to the revolver for a while for comparison, it's clear that Slicey enjoys the shotgun. The next item Slicey buys is a rifle, but this time something different happens. Slicey loses his first game with the rifle and decides to stick with the pistol for the rest of that session. That's all the time we have to demo today, but I hope you notice how easy train tracks is to use. That looks great, right? I had to keep the demo very short because we only have a little bit of time, so I want to 
take about a minute to talk about how are we making this possible. You notice this is real time, and we're going to keep this real time even for really, really big data. And we're doing that with our state-of-the-art stack that is built on Scala, Spark, and Cassandra. And if you don't know what those things are, don't worry. What it means is that we can keep this real time, the immediate response, allows you to follow your train of thought. And we think this is going to be huge. It's scalable, meaning no customer is too big, and we can grow with our clients. It's fault tolerant, meaning no corrupted data, and our service will not go down. It's maintainable, meaning lower costs, lower maintenance, higher margins for us, and it's incredibly reliable. We are the safest and most performant place to store your data, all thanks to a stack that is up to 100 times faster than the technology that our most advanced competitors are using. So to understand the market that we're entering, we first have to take a look at the game industry, which just hit 72 billion, and it continues to grow at roughly 10% per year. Correspondingly, the business analytics industry has just hit 38 billion, but the business analytics industry has very low saturation in the game development vertical because they've only just started adopting these kinds of tools. So there is no such thing as data-driven design today, but with your help, we're hoping to change that, introducing a market, uh, introducing a tool to the market that is up to 100 times faster than the competition. We hope that gets you excited. Thank you.